Good morning, Dr. Vicenzo, trustees, distinguished platform guests, faculty, all the family members and friends, and most importantly, our 2015 graduates. Thank you especially for the honor of being here as your speaker, but for the last night uh, honoring me with the Doctor of Public Service, I am very proud to say that I am now Chanticleer and I'll take that proudly with me throughout life. And if I remember my French well, that's a rooster who sings clearly. So I will try to speak clearly and do what's right and do it boldly. Our graduates, you come from places with names like Conway, Aner, Little River, Latta, Florence, Anderson, Mullins, communities across South Carolina. You come from large states, New Jersey, New York, Massachusetts. We're glad to have you here in South Carolina and countries far away. You've worked hard, experienced highs and lows, persevered, accomplished goals, made lots of friends, and matured in your physical, emotional, spiritual, an intellectual quest for becoming better people. And now the big day has arrived and you're about to embark on a new journey and we're here to celebrate with you. About 40 years ago, I was in a similar moment in time, just a few hours away on the other side of South Carolina at Lander College in Greenwood. I came from Saluda, a little small town and actually, I live eight miles out of town, out in the country. It's much like this area. I had worked hard, experienced highs and lows, persevered, accomplished goals, made lots of good friends, and matured in my physical, emotional, spiritual, intellectual quest. My family, and actually that day I had my fiance, Bill, with me at the graduation. He's still here now with me, so I appreciate that to support me. I remember lining up just like you did and waiting for the processional and I remember sitting with my friends in cap and gown, but honestly I don't remember a word or even who the commencement speaker was. I don't remember anything they said, so I know what's important today and that's to see you come across this stage, so I'm going to get on with it quickly. But believe me, I appreciate this honor. Thinking back about that ceremony for me in 1976, there are actually two things I do remember vividly. One was walking across the stage and shaking the hand of our president, my president, who was Dr. Larry Jackson, so I'm sure you'll remember shaking Dr. DeCenzo's hand. And the thing that's a bit unusual, I remember the music that day. I was a music major, so that kind of explains that. But the beauty of the music, because it was my friends and my professors who were performing. It was magnificent. And those were the people who had had such an impact on my journey through college. I had entered a young woman from a small high school, and I was nervous because I didn't think that I was as prepared as I should have been, particularly in my music training but my professors accepted me as I was. There were many students who were much better trained than I, but my professors, and I'm sure just like your professors here, saw the potential in me. And they had the mindset that with hard work, that potential, that hard work would be a catalyst to help me become a better person. So as you sit quietly for a few moments, I hope you'll think about the folks here at Coastal Carolina University who saw the potential in you and who helped you and who have had such an impact. Maybe they're sitting beside you. Maybe they're on the stage. Maybe it's someone in the cafeteria that gave you a word of encouragement, someone you'll never forget. Now, you're ready to go out with your goals. My goal was to become a music teacher and someday be the principal of the school that I had attended there in my community, Hollywood Elementary School. My parents had gone to Hollywood High, my brother and I. That was my goal in life, to go back home and be the principal there. 
And actually, after traveling all around the United States, my husband and I did move back to Saluda. I actually got a job teaching there as a music teacher, became the assistant principal. I was well on the way to reach my goal. And the job came open, and I applied for principal. And guess what? They didn't pick me. They picked somebody else. And I was devastated, kind of angry for a little while, too, that they didn't see that potential. But it all worked out. And I learned very quickly that sometimes our paths in life lead us in ways that we never dreamed. In fact, sometimes those open doors open up pathways that are better than what we had planned. Ultimately, I was able to run for the state legislature and then work in the things that you heard in my resume there, but now to be the 18th state superintendent of education in this great state. I'm very humbled by this opportunity and blessed and feel a responsibility to speak out for the teachers, the students in our state and work toward a vision that every student in South Carolina, no matter where they come from or their situation, that we give them the opportunity and that we have the mindset that they will succeed and that we'll find their passion and we'll help them on their pathway to reach and to have a successful life as a citizen in this great country. Whether that means going to an apprenticeship program, a college university like this wonderful place, or a two-year college, two-year technical school, or into the military, but they are prepared. When we add the word every student, it makes a greater responsibility, as you know. But I'm dedicated to that goal. And I hope that you, whether I know last night the educators walked across the stage, but I hope you, in whatever role you take in life, that you will see the importance in supporting good quality education in your community and for the students where you will live. We have the graduates tonight, this morning from the business school, so a special word of encouragement to you. I hope that as you go out that you will choose to do things for significance, not just success. Not just your success, but to do something significant to make the world a better place and your community a better place. And to the graduates in the arts, I hope that you will find ways to use your talents to inspire and to engage young people so that they can see the beauty in the world and have fun learning. So much of what our young people need to achieve can be taught through the arts. We know that we need citizens now who know how to show up to work on time. and You had to show up to rehearsal on time. How to work together as a team to collaborate, to be creative and to expect excellence. Give hope to young people through the arts. And as you look to the future, I trust that you will take time to do something many people warn against. Instead of just always looking down the road at what's ahead, I hope that you'll look back. Look back. And don't forget, as my mom always said, don't forget where you came from. Don't forget from whence you came. Remember those little towns and those little places like Sacristy, Mary, King Street, Ainer. If you could put your hometown in, they need you. And remember this place, Coastal Carolina University. We need you. We need you to be involved. Do what you can to support and uplift the people who have made you what you are today. Whether you're a teacher, a scientist, and you become a CEO of a large company, a healthcare professional, reminiscing, you'll look back and it will be the people, the relationships that you've made here at Coastal Carolina in your small towns. Those will be the things that matter the most. Show those folks that you care. Give them a chance as you're out in the world. Give people a chance. And I hope you'll even consider giving them a second chance. Challenge your colleagues to work hard and support their potential. And someday in the future, someone, perhaps you may be a commencement speaker, and you'll have the chance to tell folks about the people that have had an impact on your life. 
Thank you, family members, for what you have done to support these wonderful graduates. Thank you, Coastal Carolina. God bless you, graduates, as you go out to serve in the future. Best wishes. Thank you.